Hello, we're back for our second video on playing the saxophone. And this one will be shorter, but we're going to talk mainly about just posture when playing the instrument, hand position, and your embouchure, those muscles around your mouth that you use to put that you put in a certain formation in order to play the instrument. Posture wise, it's pretty obvious that you just need to sit up straight. And a lot of it too is you have to be comfortable and not feeling like you're tight and rigid also. Uh, in another video, we'll talk a little bit more about breathing, but I wanna make sure that again, I don't hold my body in any way that contributes to tension and tightness. The next thing we wanna think about is our embouchure. Let me grab the mouthpiece. I'm gonna be setting the tip or my top teeth on the top of the mouthpiece, but I'm gonna take my lower lip and slightly roll it under my lower teeth. So, and I'm gonna think about putting my mouth in what I say the ooh position, like two O's, ooh. So top teeth on the mouthpiece. roll my lower lip under, but I want to roll them under my lip, not under too much. In other words, that's actually too much. I'm going to see a little flesh from the corners of my lips, or the sides of my lips, rather. The next thing you see me doing is I'm holding this down. Are not doing this, but I'm holding this down and as flat as I can. The challenge is, is that when we start out, you will not have the strength at this point in the center of your lips in order to keep this firm enough to hold that down. So some exercises I recommend that you do away from the instrument. You can do this when you're before you get before you go to bed at night, you can do it when you're riding to school in the morning, is to put your mouth in this position, in what I say the ooh position, and hold it for 10 seconds. That was about four or five seconds, but hold it 10 seconds, and then sort of release, and then do it several more times, as in seven or eight more times. But do this on a daily basis. You want to get yourself stronger here. If you're stronger here in the center of your lips, that will keep you from wanting to go. Pushing your jaw upward or squeezing back into a smiling position. It will just take time before these muscles develop. And you have to just make sure you probably play for smaller periods of time when you start out. Another exercise is to do this, put your mouth in the same position, the ooh position, but then really hold, try to hold your chin down. You may have to kind of take your finger and help hold this down. So again, it's pushing everything forward, thinking ooh, and trying to hold this down. And again, it, it's gonna be a challenge when you start out. It isn't something like you're gonna figure it out in just a few days or be, comfortable with it in a couple of weeks. It's something you have to think about all of the time. In fact, I have my students match a certain pitch with the mouthpiece. I happen to be sitting at a piano, but it's a in the piano. So you heard me matching the pitch, and then it went up higher when I wasn't holding my mouth. Alto saxophones should strive to get an A with the mouthpiece, what we call a concert A, so it's the A that a keyboard produces. Or you could get that pitch uh, produced by a tuner. But I want to try to match that, and if it's a tenor sax, I want it to be a G. And it's not something, again, that's going to happen right away. 
many young players will probably get a C, which is, is higher than the A. But eventually you want to, over time, and when I mean over time, it's going to, it could be a year before you can get that pitch to match an A. When you blow into the mouthpiece, it doesn't, by itself, it doesn't sound pretty. It, you got to use a lot of air and it's going to be pretty loud. And so always make sure to practice at a time in a location where you know you can just use a lot of air, make a lot of sound, and it's a time where you don't have to try to be quiet. And so you, you'll have to talk to the people in your home to find a time where you can do that and you can just let it rip and make lots of sound and use lots of air. But that, those are the most important things in the embouchure. A lot of saxophone players squeeze and pull back. And part of it is they just have to work longer to get stronger here in the center of your lips. All that, getting that certain pitch will help your tone. It'll help low notes speak better. It'll help high notes come out and be more in tune. And it'll give you just a more pleasant dark tone in general. So good luck. Be patient with the mouthpiece and be relentless. Don't just try it for a while and go, I think I have this. Because the next step of getting the mouthpiece pitch is sustaining. It doesn't do you any good if you want to be able to sustain it for a long period of time, the, the entire time you're playing on your instrument. So just holding on to the A and getting it to be a steady A for two seconds is just the first step. It's a great first step, but then you have to learn that as you play, you're holding your mouth or your embouchure, sustaining your air in a way that you're getting that sound nonstop. So good luck with the mouthpiece. Good luck with forming an embouchure. It's something that's just sort of part of the journey of playing our instrument. Good luck.